Okay, so let's talk about systems. In graphing, we can see that systems are locating a point of intersection between two lines. Now, in algebra, algebra 2, we find points of intersection with three variables. We have x, y, and z. And we're looking at three-dimensional. We only do two-dimensional in algebra 1. So what about a problem like this? And this is not on your midterm, but something like it might be. So let's talk about it for a second. What do you want to do first in these equations? What would you want to do first? The first one, maybe. So what, what would you want to do first in x equals 3 minus 3y? Three um, rearrange it. Rearrange it. So I'm going to do negative 3y equals, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm literally just taking this, I put 3y by itself, and I've got equals x, and then I move 3 to the other side. Everybody see what I did? I added negative 3 to both sides and moved it to the other side. How do I get 1y by itself? How do I get 1y by itself? Divide both sides by negative 3. Divide everything by negative 3. So I end up with y equals negative 1 third x. And I write it that way instead of negative x over 3 because it's just easier to deal with. Okay? So that turns into y equals negative 1 third x plus 1. I'm going to write it over here. Y equals negative one third x plus one. Okay. Then the other one we're going to reorganize into three y equals negative x minus six. Okay. Divide everything by three. y equals negative one-third x minus two. Everybody see where that came from? Just manipulating the equation. Just doing it really quickly. y equals negative one-third x minus two. Everybody see where it came from, what we did, that kind of thing? Now I'm going to come to the board and graph the two equations. Because remember, the point of the exercise is, the answer to the exercise is finding the point of intersection, right? So if I start on, for the first equation, positive 1. What's the slope? It's not on there. I'm showing you something different to prove a point. Okay. What's the slope? of this one. So down 1 and positive 3. Or you can go up 1 and negative 3. Okay? So there's the first line. And that is y equals negative 1 third x plus 1. But you actually are supposed to write it in the original format. All right? Graph the other line. Starting at <coughs> negative 2. Down 1 over 3, or up 1, back 3. Doesn't matter which. What do you notice about the lines? They don't touch. They don't touch. Why not? They're parallel. So there's no solution to this problem. What makes two lines parallel? They don't yeah. Touch. They never touch ever. They never touch ever. Yeah, they never but if you look at the equations, how do you know that? How can you tell? Just by looking at the equations. Two and one. What is the same? 
Negative one, negative one over three. Negative one over three. Rise over what is that called? Rise over run. <coughs> Rise over run, also known as the slope. When the slope of two lines are the same, the lines are parallel. Parallel. 